Welcome to Cooking with Tyler, everyone. <laughs> Somebody's just a, a static like SCP monster. <laughs> I I said, "How's it? How's everyone doing?" And I just heard, <laughs> "It's Slenderman. He's Jewish." Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make potato luckets, and you can feel free to follow along at home. If you have, it, honestly, like a lot of this is just pantry staples. It's eggs potatoes, an onion, baking powder and flour, salt, pepper, and then you just fry it up. It's, it, it, it is such a simple recipe. Is everyone just quiet? Well, if you're turning this into an actual show, like later, I don't want to like talk over your instruction. No, no, you should be talking. This is, this is, uh, you're welcome to just, this, we're, we're just chatting. I'll cut out whatever funny bits happen. No, no use in the microwave then, in this one. <laughs> No, you cannot microwave latkes. They have to be like made in oil. People bake them and they're like, they're not crispy. You need the, you need a crispy potato. You know what? I'm not going to peel this because that is going to take way too long. I actually like the skin of the potato being fried up. I'm going to rinse this. This is, I, I might genuinely bleed on this video. So apologies because I'm going to be using this grater and it's just very, very dangerous. God, Tyler, be safe, please. Have you ever seen Portal 2, the musical? I was about to ask you that. I have seen that. I I, I think it's wonderful. I, yeah. I am very saddened every time I see a parody musical that did way <laughs> better than any of the ones I ever made or oh. produced. Um, but that one is is really, really good, and they, I think they did a good job. This is going to take a while. I'm do potato shredding ASMR with Tyler. <laughs> Hi. Today I'm going to shred some potatoes. So after you shred potatoes, they oxidize pretty quickly, so they turn brown, which is really good. But we're going to clean all the starch and stuff off of this using a very magic trick. Oh, do I even have the right? Good enough. To drain potatoes, we're gonna put it into a piece of fabric and then we're gonna squeeze it and twist it so all the juice runs out. This is the same recipe like my family has made forever. Like, I don't think we had this, like when, um, I think we maybe got rid of the original book and then my brother wanted to make lekkas and found this so I could make it. My brother would like put cookies in the oven, leave the room, close the door. The buzzer would go off. He wouldn't hear it. And then he would come rushing back and be like, I'm so bad at cooking. And all oh, the no. cookies would be brown or uh, would be burned. And I'm like, you're not bad at cooking. You need to just stay in the room if something's in the oven. He would do the same with chicken. It would be like, It'd be like completely burned on the outside. Not like nice and like crispy. Like sometimes chicken is very good if bits of it are crispy. But it would just be like dark brown chicken and it would be so dry. You know what the best part of this is? Uh, is that I've dusted this light fixture so so flecks of dust won't be floating down in the middle of the video. When we went to Coronado, oh. they were like, oh, we're going to give you the, the new... I found a Korok seat. Uh, they were like, we're going to give you the newest room. It was just refurbished. And then when we got in, I remember it feel like the air was like, it looked like the, all the dust had like settled since like they had built the place. Because you could go like this at the kitchen counter or the bathroom counter. And there was like, it looked like sawdust. They were still like building the other rooms. So I don't know if maybe like that stuff gets in the ventilation or whatever. Okay, we got six shredded potatoes. Okay, so now we got this soupy mess right here. So we're going to uh, drain this by putting it in this cloth and then twisting it out. Oh, gross. All that is in, is in those potatoes. Oh, oh, God, there's so much. There's so 
flinch. Oh, it's still coming. Jeez. This is that ASMR everyone. Now I'm going to drain the potatoes. <laughs> okay. Well, that's gross. So I'm just going to I'm just going to give a visual example. Cheers! Oh god. <laughs> what is that? It came out of the potatoes. I, I, it came out of the potatoes. Oh, no. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> oh god, no! Oh! That was such a bad idea! That was disgusting. Oh god. That's just like... It felt like I put a bag of flour in my mouth. It looks like ch It looks like a coffee. It, it looks like I steamed milk on top of a coffee. That was disgusting. So now we have completely dry potatoes. And now we're going to shred this onion. Thomas's uh, brothers, when I went over to their house back in August, they were like watching on repeat this one episode of Arl Stein's The Haunting Hour where like a girl has a doll that looks exactly like her uh, and, it, and, and appears to be alive but only like the kids can see it because obviously that shit always happen. Okay, we are going to shred this uh, just as thin uh, and oh my god, I gotta put no. Where's my Raz goggles? Are they ready? At the, I need to... I need to make sure that the fumes don't go in my head, whatever. It's gonna happen. Uh, it doesn't shred into, like, strings, though. This shreds into, like, little tiny blobs because it's, it's not hard enough. It's too soft. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh, my God. Ah! I just watched the beginning of Up! <laughs> So did uh did anyone watch the prom? <laughs> Not yet. I need to watch that. The more I think about it, the more frustrated I am with, with that movie. Like the beginning part where she's singing "Just Breathe," Emma. She's like smiling the whole time, and then later on in the movie, when we see her at like her grandmother's house or wherever she's living. Uh, she's like, she hasn't, she's, I've never seen her smile this much since you guys came here. And I'm like, she was smiling literally every scene throughout the previous part of the movie. What do you mean you haven't seen her smile this much? All right, next, olive oil. <laughs> that was a terrible Gordon Ramsay impression. He loves olive oil. <laughs> olive oil, in. Now there's a lot of onion juice in here. And I guess we'll just keep that. <laughs> Cause onions are mo onions are mostly juice. Gordon Ramsay told me that. Uh, uh, oh <laughs> I just got potato everywhere. Okay. Add remaining ingredients. <laughs> this is a very complex dish. You shred two things and then you just put everything else in. I bought smaller, a smaller package of eggs and then I got a bigger package of 18 eggs. So I didn't need to buy this smaller package the other day. They charge like 20 cents extra for large eggs to extra large eggs. And I feel like that's a giant ripoff. I feel like they all look exactly the same size. Meanwhile, Hercule Poirot is probably like, no, these eggs are not the correct size. Okay, three eggs. Bam. People, there are egg cracking machines in case you're an idiot and don't know how to crack an egg. It's not that oh. hard. Look at that. <laughs> look how easy that was. <laughs> Have you ever seen those? Like in those videos where it's like, is cracking eggs too difficult? And they're like, uh, uh, and it goes everywhere and like shells are everything. It's like, oh, oh my God. Half this video is going to be me just like trying to clean my eyes from the, from the stench. <laughs> Shut up. I've got this giant pan that's also like one of the nonstick kind. And it's, this has become my new favorite pan because stuff just 
slides off. Okay, don't take this out of context, please. A quarter cup of flour. Hello. Oh, oh, hi, Ben. Okay, quarter cup of flour. Oh, God, I made way too big of a batch of this. You cannot refrigerate this either because it'll go bad. Probably. I don't actually know. No, you can't. Okay. You're right. I came in late. What are we making? Latkes! Because oh, it's sweet. Hanukkah. Are you Jewish, Ben? I am not. Oh, okay. But you I do like enjoy latkes. latkes. <laughs> Fair enough. So tea, two teaspoons of baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. Yep. Which has an extra thing in it. So who wants one? <laughs> I would love one. Please give me your address and I will <laughs> mail you... A pizza roll. <laughs> I'll mail you a pizza roll, yep. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm, I'm torn with my mental image of this. Like, would I be getting just, like, an envelope that has a pancake in it, and I just kind of open it up, and I'm like, well, this is a thing? Or would it be, like, one of those frozen dinner things, where it's like you've got all of, like, the, the uh, frozen uh, dry ice in there to yeah, keep Yeah, it, it would cool. be like, it would be, like, freeze-dried, and you have to, like... <laughs> like moisten it back up like it'll be like this big and you have to drop it in water like what put it like in my those, hydrolator like one of like one of those foam it's like a pellet and then it turns into like a plush dinosaur like one of those <laughs> well this i didn't think about the oil is not spreading in the pan <laughs> is the stove on it's it is but it's not <laughs> a stick oh no wait it's I working we're good. Okay. It's just, it's non-stick is the problem. Okay, I need, like, an assembly line going on here. Where my sizzle at? That is way too big. Okay, I made that way too big. <laughs> I need a smaller... <laughs> this is already a third of a cup. <laughs> something smaller than that. My spoon's okay. too big. As I've learned in the past, the first, the first batch of Lutkas will turn out the worst. Is that because the, the pan's not hot yet? Yeah, and like, once it gets up to the right heat, like, then you'll start to like, get the hang of like, how long it takes and when you should flip it and everything. I don't know this pan yet, so... We might just be here forever. What is your favorite, uh, Hanukkah me holiday memories, let's say? Nope. I've got a weird one. So, the one of one of the first uh WDWNT marathons so this is like more more thanksgivingy but it kind of bled into christmas for me um i i was working on my master's thesis um and my family this year before realizing that i would be spending the entire holiday trying to get my master's thesis done uh planned a trip to disney world uh so they went without me uh <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> they, they left me home to work on my thesis, and then they went to th uh, have Thanksgiving in uh, Disney World. Oh. Um, and we have never had Thanksgiving in Disney World since. <laughs> so. I'm sorry. <laughs> but gosh darn it, I got the thing done, and I don't regret it for a damn second, because it's over now. <laughs> oh. pour, the, pour the beverage of Jewish Canadians. Canada Dry. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I would go to like my fa like my grandparents' house um, or any other family member, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have Coca Cola. They would have ginger ale, and I so vividly associate that with Jewish cooking specifically. I just associate it with living with old parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man, I watched King and I. I hated that. Oh, I, hate I hated. King and I. I hated everything about King and I, including its incredibly depressing ending. Yeah, I King and I is my least favorite. I mean, it's definitely my least favorite Rogers and Hammerstein. I don't know if it's like my least favorite Ooh. ever, but Ooh, look at that. Ooh. I I never like Rogers and Hammerstein. I was in Oklahoma, and I hate that show. It is really? the worst. Okay. 
we even like in Toronto, we have this place called, Str well, it's not in Toronto, but in Ontario, we have Stratford, which hosts the Stratford Festival. It's a huge mm -hmm. uh, festival of like Shakespeare and plays and musicals and everything. And so we went to, uh, the year that my school did Oklahoma, they were doing Oklahoma. So we went there and watched it from like the rafters, essentially. I, I hated every version of Oklahoma I've ever seen. Uh, I genuinely hate the Hugh Jackman version. <laughs> There's a I gay version out there. I just don't remember what it's called. Gay Oklahoma. <laughs> you can't be. Like, what are you saying? You can't be gay in Oklahoma. Okay, now my whole house is gonna start smelling of oil. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this down. Ooh, baby, I love the way. <laughs> it's like <Lutka> magic. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> oh no. Here we I go. Mean, Here's I... our first Lutka. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoy. Oh, what is the name of it? That um, it was Shit, it was on was Mystery so Science good. Theater three thousand. It's the one with the the boy and the alien, and you he, he pushes the kid off. The, yeah, Mac and me. Thank oh you. Oh my god, that I was love so that. Funny. Like I I enjoy Pretty Mac and bad. me. I do not necessarily <laughs> think it is a good movie, but I enjoy it. Claudia with a Chance of Meatballs, the TV show, is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's set I... before the events of the movie, but Flint and um, Sam are friends, and they l went to school together, and that makes no sense. Why? What? The idea is like, oh, it's just Flint making up wacky inventions each episode, but it's as if the events of the first movie didn't happen. And he's like a teenager instead of like a young adult. And Sam is not uh, a weather girl. And they already know each other. It's the uh, it's so stupid. Why would you not set it on the food island? Think of how much stuff you can do. Where now the island is made of food, and they're friends with all the food animals. Why yeah. Why do not do that as the show? <laughs> like seriously, like they could have done like just. Bug snacks the TV show, <laughs> yeah. and it would have been great. Does anyone? Does anyone want one? <laughs> oh, that's so hot! I think the amount of smoke is usually from the pan, and not <laughs> and not how much oil and the heat and temperature. Because I'm using a non-stick pan, and it is doing fine. It is not smoking at all. Okay. I mean, it is legal in uh, in your your country, <laughs> so I mean. <laughs> Whoa, Ben over here with some smart jokes. <laughs> uh, there is one thing I'm going to do to replicate the the Lachaim booth. I'm going to make some dill sour cream, uh, which is pretty easy. Mm. We just get some very heavy sour cream. This is 14%. The only other option was one. <laughs> I thought dill weed was a funny... Thing to taunt somebody with it's an yeah. actual thing it's just it's just a real thing there we go <laughs> that's done <laughs> this one's nice and crispy all right let's try this oh my god um oh. what happened to your ceiling <laughs> I'm just making sure there's no smoke. I can tell from, like, Oh, lights. okay. <laughs> I would just like to say, when it came out in theaters, I loved Indiana Jones 4. And then very <laughs> recently, I watched all four in chronological order. So start with two, then one, then three, then four. Four is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, Three more. The, mo the movies fall. have a very specific way of working structurally. And the fourth one just does not fit that at all. And also, like, even during the action scenes in the other ones, at least there's, like, dialogue during it. Like, the tank scene, there's a whole lot of, like, talking between characters going on, especially with, like... Sean Connery um, and the principal character. But in the fourth one, 
the action scenes are like near silent as crazy stuff just keeps happening over like so fast. I could I could see yeah. why why if you watch them in order you can see that the fourth one just is trying way too hard to be a modern action film. Which sucks cuz a lot of the fourth one is pretty good, I think. Ginger ale is my alcohol. <laughs> I don't drink uh, alcohol. I, I drink way too much soda. <laughs> I had to buy alcohol. I had to buy some um, some white wine so I can do uh, some cooking because when I cook certain ingredients or certain dishes, I use some alcohol to like get some flavor in there and deglaze the pan. And so yeah. when I went, I was like, oh, I have to get wine. And they're like, oh, this is the cheapest. And this one is more dry. And I'm like, what does dry mean? And the person just like, it's like like they'd never heard anyone ask that question before. Like I just genuinely did not remember. I've asked that question to people a couple times, and usually it's met with stunned silence first. Of like, what do you mean you don't know what? Like I've asked them, like it's like if somebody told me the desert is dry, and I'm like, what do you mean dry? And I'm like, <laughs> like no, that makes <laughs> sense. I know what that means. This is a fluid. How can a fluid be dry? Oh, nice. That's it. Yay, we did it. And I got my uh, dill dip. I ordered smoked salmon so I could put a big scoop of it on top, like uh, at the actual Epcot food booth, except my Instacart guy could not find smoked salmon, so they refunded me. Well, I'm going to eat these on during the show today. Thank you, everyone, for coming to watch me cook Lutkas, by the way. Here's Thanks, the recipe. Tyler. Screenshot Thanks, that. Thanks, Tyler. Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah.